We're still not done checking out what Pewter City has to offer, so I'm going to finish that, and after that I'll head back over to Ecrotique City. Uh, the, the gym leader uses rock-type Pokémon, which is sort of odd considering that, at, at least in the Kanto games, the ratio of, uh, you know, ground types was actually higher than rock types, but oh well. Anyway, Cameron, the, the photographer, once again, <laughs> it's the third time in a very short span that we actually meet him after not meeting him for a very, very, very long time, and whoa! Um, okay, I guess I'll take care of that later, and, uh, what's there? Oh, a PP up! Sweet! Actually, I was wondering if I would get any, because I'm getting who soon, and, uh, with Sacred Fire only having 5 PP, well, as you can imagine, uh, I'm gonna want those PP ups. Anyway, here we got the museum, but first, there's this little area over there, the house, as well as the apricorn trees that, uh, we're over there, so let's see. Nothing interesting in there. And um, but uh, I'm not I'm not sure a Nidoran can shake hands, but oh well whatever, let's uh, do some more tree humping, two for the price of one, and after that we're going to head into the museum. Which um uh well, it was revamped since the Kanto games. It used to be a uh, two buildings close to each other, now it's only one, and uh, in one of those buildings you got the old ember back then, but, um, oh, you can actually go there, and, ah, oh, I figured as much, um, so I guess I'm gonna be taking care of that uh, when I return to Pewter City after catching who, I guess, so, um, let's see, uh, what's inside the, uh, the museum, which, um, I think it's free of charge now, in the Kanto games it costs, um, I think, 50 bucks, uh, to enter. Admission is free of charge, yes. So, um, I believe this is where you want to come if you have fossils to revive. You can find them by using Rock Smash at the Ruins of Alf and, um, certain other places that I haven't really memorized. I remember that uh, you can find some at the Ruins of Alf. There are some of those fossils that you can only find in Hard Gold and some that you, that you can only find in Soul Silver. so don't worry if you can't find them all. Okay, um... Bones of a Dragon, this actually reminds me of the Nacreen Museum in, um... Black and White, where you got that huge, uh, Dragonite skeleton as the centerpiece. Uh, mm -hmm. As I said, just random banter, I guess this is the guy... Yeah, I figured as much by process of elimination, since he was the last guy I hadn't talked to yet, but, um... Yeah, this is the guy you want to talk to if you have uh, fossils you want to bring back to life. Okay, so I guess since we talked to everyone, let's check uh, the exhibits. I thought, I th at least I thought there were going to be exhibits there. But can tell it's just a bunch of books, archaeology, manual, lost Pokemon, Pokemon ancestors, friendships. Oh man, you just had to slip the unrelenting theme of friendship and Pokemon in there. You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, game? Oh, great. Anyway, we had the same books in uh, both of these things, so let's check this. This is an, an unidentified object found at Mount Moon. It is possibly a moon rock. Well, I guess this is sort of appropriate since Mount Moon is uh, right next door. And eh, it's the same thing. Okay, let's see what's down there. Solid Amber Tree Sap has something inside. If you can take it out, you can extract the Pokemon <laughs> from ancient times. Sorry if I was uh, starting to laugh, it's just that I imagined myself, you know, punishing the glass, grabbing the fossil, and handing it over to the other guy over there, but I guess, um, yeah, I, I'm, I guess I'm not gonna do this for science. Uh, that's it, a remembrance step through time to the ancient world. Okay, and what we got here? Oh, um, are these? Yeah, these are the same books. So, and uh, once again with the friendship thing. So they got, they actually got at least four of these friendship books in there. And this is a museum about fossils and stuff. Not, not friendship. Okay, anyway, we are done in Pewter City for now. So, um, I'm gonna head over to Ecrotique City. Really tedious how you gotta transit 
through the Indigo Plateau or the Reception Gate. Either one works. But okay, let's head to a Critique City because now is the time to go and catch a... I was about to say Mewtwo! Ooh! Nah, I'm gonna keep Mewtwo for, Mewtwo for a bit later. Uh, anyway, um... Is it... Nah, it's, the, it's that building over there. I thought I was walking right into uh, the Burn Tower, but actually the path to the Bell Tower is right over there. Uh, the Bell Tower was called uh, the Tin Tower in Gold, Silver, Crystal, but it was retconned in this game. Presumably has something to do with the place's Japanese name, and if you, if you remember this place, this is where we got the Morty's phone number earlier on. But now that we have the Rainbow Wing, we can actually get past um, this first floor of the Bell Tower. That thing you have. And now the Rainbow Wing is flashing, so I guess, I, I guess this is proof of my membership to this place. Uh, now, the, the puzzles that we have to solve here. Well, this isn't... This dungeon is one giant labyrinth. Rather, there are a bunch of puzzles that you have to solve while being assaulted by wild ratatas. And yes, this is the kind of levels that you can expect to see in this place, level 20, 22, 24. Because, I guess, um, th th this is meant to be the counterpart to the Whirl Islands. And considering uh, the prospect that you could actually get in this place much earlier than this in... Uh, Hard gold, and, um, the, and th then you have to take into account the fact that uh, you could access the Whirl Islands as soon as you got Whirlpools, so they had to make uh, both places somewhat equal in terms of uh, levels for the wild Pokémon. I don't know if uh, I'm making sense with that. It's making sense in my head, but when I'm saying it, well, maybe not. Anyway, um, this is the kind of puzzle that I was talking about uh, they, 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 these things you can only uh, go in one direction, obviously. So, um, okay, I guess this wasn't the thing to do. Or maybe it was, or... Ah, oh, hell, I'm confused already! Um, either way, uh, these puzzles actually span several floors, so you gotta go up and down ladders in addition to uh, jumping all over the place like this. Rare candy, okay, that's good. And uh, now get down there because we really have no choice at this point. And, um, now. Okay, let me think about it. Sorry about that if my commentary isn't exactly riveting. It's that, you know, I have to have a slight idea of where I'm going. And uh, right now, right now I don't. I don't have an idea of where I'm going. And, Oh, wow, great, dead end. Well, I suppose the ladder is there for, um, you know, if you end up there from that top floor, but, oh, well, let's, let's continue uh, jumping all over the place, and maybe we're going to eventually find what we're supposed to do. Oh, by the way, we are almost nine minutes in this video. The reason why I'm pointing this out is that nine minutes into this video, this LP is supposed to officially become longer than Crystal. And, um, okay, hang on a second. What am I supposed to do? Ah, uh, uh, well, thank you, Random Ratata, for ruining, ruining the fun. But yeah, as I've said before, uh, the main game took about the same time between uh, both LPs, which means that the fact that they've do actually done something with Kanto this time around means that, well, at this point right now, the Crystal LP would be over if you watched both side by side. And yet in this one, we're not even done with Kanto. Oh, I get, I get it! I get what you're supposed to do. You have to take one of these jumps that's hidden behind the pillar. Well, no wonder I couldn't figure it out. I really had to stop and really, really look at it. But yeah, it's a testament to how much they botched Kanto. That right now, if I were be if I were playing Crystal, it would be over. Whereas here, I'm nowhere near done with the game. Expect at least another 30 videos, in fact. And that was a PP up, and I think I think I came through here before, and I haven't picked up that item, and I almost missed out on a PP up that was right in plain sight. 
right next to me? Are you serious? And by the way, I'm smelling lots of deleted comments from people who said, Hey, you forgot that item over there! And then they continue watching the video, and they realize, Oh, he picked it up later on. And yes, I can see that other one uh, over there. So I guess I'm going to have to try and get it before uh, actually moving on. Even though I know what to do to move on, I still want to collect this item just in case it's uh, another valuable item and so I don't hear anything about it anymore. But yeah, I'm smelling a graveyard of deleted comments. Remember, it's common courtesy to watch the video in its entirety before commenting on it. Just saying, this, this tends to avoid them... Um, uh, the thing that uh, most likely you people already did at the time you're viewing this part of the video. Uh, okay, now yeah, I have a clue about what to do and another random ratata. It's really frustrating, you know, when you have to, you know, solve these puzzles and they're interrupted by a wild Pokemon. Well, I guess this could be worse. This could be Diamond Pro Platinum where um, you have to uh, take those bike jumps in the middle of caves and uh, you get your swing interrupted by um, a wild Pokemon and you have to start all over again and risk getting interrupted by another wild Pokemon. And I guess I gotta take this one. Uh, yeah, I was right. Okay, I, was, I wasn't really sure because there are so many paths you can take on this one screen. Wow, this is actually sort of amazing. So, now, we can... I think we've, co we've collected all the items in this uh, area of the tower, so we can now move on to uh, the next series of puzzles. Now, I gotta go down there, and down there, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I gotta go right here. Yep! I was right! I made the right decision by going right. So, uh, this floor is the sixth floor, I believe, and it's really not complicated at all. You just have to make your way to uh, the other ladder to... Uh, Make your way to another series of puzzles that's even more difficult than this, if you can believe that. What do I mean by that? You're gonna see when we get there. But, yeah, I apologize if my commentary isn't the most thrilling in this video. It's because, you know, I've been talking to NPCs that don't have much to say and solving puzzles. This is not exactly a very good, um... Ambience! This isn't a very good uh, combination of elements that uh, would lead to decent commentary. But I guess it's better that than to just uh, speed up and play music through everything. Especially since you might be following along and if I speed up and play music you might actually... Um, you might actually have trouble following what I'm actually doing. So I'm... I get, I get, I'm not really doing this with those who play along with me in mind, but I guess this is um, a pretty good uh, example of uh, why I'm not speeding up and playing music. Anyway, we got more of these jump things, except now we have teleporters to go along with them. Aren't we gonna have some fun? And wow, Raikou's gonna hate me. Get out of your Pokeball! Get in, get back in! Get out, get in, get out! Constantly! He's going to hate me so much when this is done. Okay, but uh, anyway, we got those jumps to make, and now we got teleporters. So um, I'm not really expecting to get all of the items. There's going to be a point of no return, a breaking point where I just say, screw all the items, I'm just going to uh, make a beeline for who if I can figure out how to get to it, but... Uh, Okay, all this led to an item, at least it's a Max Elixir, which is rather valuable. It's not a PP up, but uh, then again, three PP ups in one video. Who's ever heard of that? Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to stop here for now, I think, because I'm getting pretty sick of all that. So I'll see you next time where we hopefully get to Who and catch it.